You are watching the Global Gamers Invitational Tournament brought to you by iFixit, SCVs for the real world, the handsome nerd, attire for the handsomest of nerds, and eSports United, sponsored by Intel. This broadcast is also made possible by IC Cup TV, TeamLiquid.net, and of course, Blizzard Entertainment. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Global Gamers Invitational. This is Mac. I am here with Railcoon. IC Cup TV is bringing you today Game 2 between Sen, playing under the acronym Softball, and his opponent Straylock the Blue Terran. We are here on Steps of War. Straylock going down in Game 1 to Sen on Metalopolis. He's chosen Steps of War. Pretty sensible choice. It's a small map. Terran love it against Zerg, so I'm not in the least bit surprised that we're here. Yeah, and it's a really good map choice for that same sort of opening, um, if he is indeed going to go for that again. Because of the fact that um, he can go for the same pre-igniter drop, the base is really big, it's vulnerable to uh, dropping in the sides like he did on Metalopolis. And, you know, still be able to do a good amount of damage, but he'll be able to lock down his expansion and his ramp much, much easier with bunkers. There's only just a small area here. Um, that he has to cover, and a couple of tanks hanging out behind that um, bunker coverage will be able to protect him so much easier as well. Uh, there's a lot of people shouting in chat saying he's Taiwanese. Taiwanese, um, See, even you didn't know, and and I'm glad we finally figured that out. San is indeed a Taiwanese player, and he deserves credit for his nationality. We don't, <laughs> I mean, we des he deserves us to not screw it up. Uh, once again, do want to thank those sponsors, iFixit, SCVs for the real world, also Esports United, who uh, through Intel is supplying us with several Intel processors, and last but not least, the Handsome Nerd, attire for the handsomest of nerds. Those are the tournament sponsors. They're bringing out the big names like Straylock and Sen, and it should be a great tournament, so a huge thanks to them. Uh, so, so far, again, very, very straightforward and uh, standard what... builds. Did you see what Sen just did, though? I um... totally missed that. I was looking at Straylock. He, he was sitting at around 15 supply, and he had a good number of minerals, and he started to send a drone down to his natural, and then it turned around and made a spawning pool, and then he dropped his gas really quickly. Um, so he must have seen something in the base of Streelock. Um, well, I didn't it, see anything out of the ordinary, though. You know, it might what? very well be the lack of the tech lab or reactor on the barracks. He might be fearing this Ooh, bunker there's... rush. He might have anticipated that. Uh, it could be the fact that there's no gas in his main. I think yes. that's probably what he saw. Good call. He was, spotted um, the no gas, and, and he's expecting this rush. And it looks like a bunker in the base and a wall off at the bottom. So he's trying to contain Sen inside his base with the bunker, supply deep a wall off. Smart play. Sen fearing a, a marine all in. Uh, he's already throwing out a spine crawler, so he's putting himself behind, fearing an imminent attack that might not even be coming. Yeah, and this spine crawler, if you get um, a creep tumor down with your queen. Um, because sometimes you can sort of skip uh, an eject. You probably don't want to skip the first one. Um, it's kind of a tough situation right now because he probably does want to extend the creep. Uh, but yeah, he does get that in first injection out uh, before spreading the creep tumor. If you can get the spine crawler at the top of the ramp, the spine crawler outranges the bunker by one. And uh, once you get the creep down there, it can just poke, 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 poke. Um, but if you wait that long you'll have delayed your expansion quite a long time. So it wouldn't be too surprised to see him drop a Roach Warren soon, just to help break this a little bit faster. Yeah, it's also important to note that uh, Sen did lose, I, I believe, one Overlord in, in the low ground of his expansion due to this, so that put him a little bit behind. Of course, he will be able to break out and uh, probably get back in the game pretty quickly, <laughs> but Straylock, you see, very, very quickly making a transition. He got the two gas down immediately, grabbing that factory, Tech Lab going down on the barracks. I'm guessing no Hellion drop this time, probably going straight for Siege Tanks. Yeah, and he did see Sen drop that Baneling Nest because uh, he used one of those SCVs, just loaded it into the bunker and then unloaded it on the other side using the Rally Point to get in there and scout around, and he saw him right as he dropped that Baneling Nest. So he is aware of the fact that Sen's about to shortly bust his contain. So he actually, if you look at his bunker, unloaded some of the marines, sent him back to his base. Um, so this Baneling bust is just going to be busting a single bunker in supply depot, it seems. Only one marine, a token marine, left inside that bunker. And I believe yeah, his days are numbered. Yeah, that's a good move, because you can't tell how many marines are in there. You can just tell that it's got something in it. 
Uh, so Sen's gonna blow up quite a few Banelings here, expecting that there were more Marines in there. And he probably could have taken that with just the Zerglings. So that's a great job by Streelock, forcing Sen just to waste a little bit of resources. Not a huge amount, but early on in the game that can add up, especially with the Spinecrawler as well. And if you look at his front, he's pretty safe against Banelings here. He's got um, this tech lab here, but it's got a bunker and a supply depot behind it, so he's completely safe against Banelings. Yeah, Streetlock, meanwhile, we'll see he's getting a tech lab on a starport, so I think we're going to be seeing some Banshee play, so following up with the new Harass, he's not yet throwing down a second command center, not going for that fast expansion. Of course, he can no longer move out safely. Speedlings are roaming across the center of the map, and uh, I guess Banshee's a good option. The hatchery just going down. No lair tech for Sen. As of yet, he was forced to get an army early, forced to take down that wall to get his expansion. So I do really like this decision to go tech to Banshees right away because there's no Overseers and no, no uh, Evolution Chamber, there's not going to be any detection. Yeah, and it's a reasonable expectation that he does not have a lair right now. Uh, just because of the fact that, like you said, he was forced to get an army early, which is just going to delay his tech. So his lair is not going to be quite as fast as it normally would be. He is starting that lair at about 50 supply, which is significantly behind what you'd normally see a Zerg player go for in this matchup. He still is hanging out with these uh, speedlings, but um, he will be kind of aware that something's going on with nothing going on. Streelock not trying to clear those out as, at all. Uh, unfortunately, but... Streelock did attack a Zergling at the Zelnega Watchtower. It was spotted on the way in, and so Sen definitely knows the Banshees are incoming. He has... Uh, three queens, I think he does. Uh, yes, three queens. He's been pumping them out as best he can. So hopefully he can do, uh, fend off this Banshee attack using those queens. Yeah, but Cloak just finished, and he has not completed this layer yet. So he's going to have a decent window to kill as many drones as he possibly can. You can see Sen just has to flat out run the workers away. And this looks a little bit opposite of the last game. Uh, now... Streelock's the one forcing Sen to pull off of his mineral line. There we go, immediately morphing two Overseers, which is another good move. Um, not going to try and bounce the Overseer back and forth. Uh, just going to hang one out in each base so we can cover them uh, effectively. But this Banshee's still doing quite a bit of damage uh, before he's going to get chased away by these Queens. And the Banshee is just microing away now. It unfortunately will not be able to stand up to this many Queens. And I don't think he built that many more than one additional Banshee. Just uh, fighting off that lair. Uh, sorry, not the lair. Uh, the expansion on the side. Sniping a few more drones. And you said, ooh, did I miss something important there? Uh, he actually lost the Banshee to the Queens. I thought it was going to get away. Um, but it's just a little bit of a micro mistake. And Streelock completely clearing out the Zerglings because they were on hold position. Oops. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Sen has successfully survived the Banshee Harass. It looked pretty grim there for a while. These Hellions are following up, trying to roast Sen's drones as best they can. They are getting picked apart dangerously by the Queens in this beautiful score crawler positioning, preventing them from getting inside. They are going to roast several drones, but probably just enough to pay off their own cost. Uh, not many more. So not a hugely devastating attack by Straylock, but certainly enough to irritate his opponents and keep him on the defensive while this uh, expansion of Straylock goes down. Yeah, but again, it didn't kill a huge number of drones, but that, plus the fact that Sen wasn't able to mine from his main for a while, is going to add up. If you look, he's down 25 to 38, and Streelock hasn't even landed his expansion yet. So he is pretty far behind, if you look at the uh, income tab. Uh, not really in the place you want to be in Zerg versus Terran. Streelock has three tanks out, um, double bunker coming up, but there's a changeling hanging out right in the middle of his marines. Uh, you don't see that work versus the very good players very often, but when it does, it can pay off pretty nicely. And it should be noted that Straylock has picked up an, engin uh, an armory and engineering bay, both of those almost complete. So Straylock definitely getting ready for a mutilisk transition from his opponent, and it looks like no uh, tech going down so far. What? Only an additional bailing nest? Yeah, <laughs> why is he making another one? I think um, that, that's got to be a misclick of some sort. Uh, yeah, two bailing that nests, to that's be... weird. That had to be an error. I don't know. <laughs> like, you hit the B button twice. I've done that. It's, maybe he was going for an evolution chamber, because it is right next to the V for getting upgrades. Um, the position, however, really know. screams of uh, hidden tech trying to keep it away from a scan range, so I really don't know what that was supposed to be. Regardless, we'll have to see what Sen ends up doing. Uh, 
in the long long run, that's a small waste of money. But I think the real hurt was he didn't get down what he wanted, whatever that was. You know, he I think he, I think started... he, I think he just made a mis He didn't realize he had a bailing's nest. Looks I like think he, just he forgot about the first one, yeah, because he started upgrading the the speed on the new one as soon as it finished. So I think he just completely blanked and forgot he, that he had the one in his main mineral line. So just you know, a little bit of a, a mental error. Another changeling getting into uh, the unit line of Streelock. He's getting these changelings in there, which is a little bit unexpected, but it's a good use of the double overseer since he was forced to make them early. Um, be nice to see him try and scout with one, get in there, get some good information, try and uh, contaminate something. Now we are seeing a medevac oh. coming in. He's got some Hellions loaded. He is going to go for another Hellion attack, this time on Sen's main. He just drew the queens out with a Banshee harass. So the queens are actually in a northern position. These come in undetected. No overlords spot them. Roach is just popping in the nick of time. Very, very lucky timing there for Sen because a ton of drones going down to this blue flame. Only one Hellion down so far. The roach, uh, the drones, rather, trying to kite away. They are in a nice line. Those Hellions catch and there's a ton of drones that are going to go down. Lings have arrived and the last Hellions are eliminated. Well played by both players, but 54 over 30 now in favor of Straylock, so he is looking to be in a commanding position right now. Yeah, I just accidentally moved my StarCraft window, so I'm just fixing that up real quick. I think I got it. Sorry, guys. And... Oh. Yeah, that was really nice payoff uh, with those Hellions. You don't expect to do that much damage with the Hellions this late in the game, but um, you know.